Hope everybody's doing great. Had, had a, a great day today with the guys. Week's going well. Um, you know, excited about this one. Uh, everybody understands the environment we're going to have a chance to play in on uh, Saturday night, night. Saturday night, and uh, really good football team. But uh, preparation's been good. Excited for this one. Ready to go play. Question. We'll start with this. Josh, how do you balance what you've seen from Ole Miss defensively? <laughs> they started out the year looking, you know, definitely improved defensively. The last two weeks, giving up a ton of points. How do you evaluate those two types uh, of teams? Every, every week's different. Um, play the same team ten times over on the same day. It's going to unfold differently. Uh, they got good players. Uh, they play extremely hard. Uh, it's, it's the next step for us as uh, as an offense, and I say that meaning the next challenge. And and uh, you know. For us, a lot of it is about us and growing and continuing to mature in, in our preparation, but then uh, be able to adjust to what we see on game day. Um, you know, each game has its own identity. We'll find out, you know, during the course of play what that identity is in this game. Go to the back. Hey, Coach, uh, just with you know the sellout crowd, a lot of fans really hype about this game, how well the team's been playing. How big of a game do you feel this is for developing that new kind of culture here at Tennessee? It's the biggest game uh, you know, up until this point because it's the only one we get to play this week. Uh, the environment, um, what our kids have done uh, on the field, uh, the work that they've put in, uh, it's awesome that our fan base has recognized that, excited about what the, the players are doing inside of our program. Um, you know, they've they built this opportunity. Uh, it's about our preparation and being ready to go play. Can't wait to, to see Vol walk, uh, see the, the stadium checkerboarded out. It's, you know, after the ball game last week when we started talking about this one, talked about, you know, it needs to be a home field advantage. And, and uh, obviously Saturday night should be that way. Can't wait to experience it with our crowd. Looking forward to it. Austin and West. I was just going to ask you about some young guys. Uh, Julian Nixon, Trinity Bell came in Marley. Yeah, kind of where, where do you have those guys working uh, in practice, and kind of what do you envision out of those three, you know, going forward? Yeah, uh, Trinity is really still coming off of an injury they sustained in high school. Continuing to rehab, uh, reshape his body as he goes through that process, uh, doing some really good things with our strength and conditioning staff. Uh, the other guys are, are working on practice squads and, and uh, continuing to grow uh, physically. They're continuing to develop. You know, uh, every opportunity we get a chance to, to get those guys work, we do. Um, but they continue to invest and grow inside of our program. Where do you have? Where's Cayman? Where do you envision him playing? Yeah, I, I think Cayman's a guy that's going to continue to uh, – his position group's going to continue to unfold as as, uh, as his career unfolds here. Josh, you talked about, you know, kind of every game being its own kind of game. And how much time, if any, during the week do you spend kind of in your mind thinking, okay, if this happens, here's my answer. If that happens, here's my answer in terms of how you – Respond, you know, in the flow of a game, in terms of attacking or or what the the situation might be. Yeah, situational football, uh, it, it really unfolds. You know, during the course of the of the game, you try to put yourself in unique situations. Uh, we try to do that uh, on a day like today, and, and uh, you know, the last five ten minutes is spent as an entire team just going through situational football substitution patterns, unique scenarios that come up. Um, in particular, um, you know, in the middle of the football field with special teams, and you got to have multiple. Uh, units that are, are ready to go play. <clears throat> you try to prepare your kids and and, uh, and make sure that they're ready for those situations. Your coaching staff too. Um, but you know, like fourth down calls. Um, you know, based on the flow of the game and where you're at, personnel, all those things. They kind of unfold during the course of the game. In and Patrick. Josh, last year uh, Matt Corral was a little turnover prone, particularly in, in one game, and then this year he hasn't thrown an interception yet. Don't know how far you've gone back in terms of watching his tape, but what, what have you seen uh, difference-wise from him, interceptions last year to this year? Year one to year two as a quarterback in the system, um, continuing to grow as a decision maker. Um, that's in part him, but it's also the, the, the guys that are around him too. And they've continued to evolve and, and grow as, as an offensive unit. Uh, he's a great playmaker. Um, he does a good job of taking care of the football. We got to apply pressure to him. You also got to bottle him up inside the pocket. You let him get loose. He'll hurt you with your with his feet, but he hurts you uh, with your arm first or his arm first. And, and uh, so we got to do a great job of matching people for in zone coverage once he, he does break contain. 
Um, but we got to make it an uncomfortable night for him inside the pocket. Josh, with, with Tyon, I think he's fourth in the SEC in rushing. Did you <coughs> see that he could be as productive as he's been, as explosive as he's been with some of the big plays he's had? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's, his growth uh, inside of what we're doing offensively and understanding of what we're doing, the physical attributes were, were all there. He's really grown physically. Just I'm talking about from when I got here in, in late January or early February to, to continuing to develop his body uh, the way that you need to uh, come from, uh, from a junior college. <clears throat> He's got a high, high ceiling. need him to, to be really productive. Jake in Austin. Going into Corral's scramble ability, what have you talked to the defensive line about this week just in, in containing him and, and how to stop that? Yeah, you still have to rush him. If you don't, he's going to sit back there all day long. But you got to maintain some rush integrity. And when we've done that, um, we've made it extremely difficult to, to get out of the pocket. When we haven't done that and understand the defensive call, where the other bodies are at, and what I need to do as a D lineman or a linebacker or a secondary player in the pressure, then uh, we've given quarterbacks the opportunity to, to get out and extend and make plays. Can't do that on Saturday night. Here. With the emergence of Brandon Turnage, Slaughter, Ollie Lane, you know, how, how confident are you guys are comfortable? Are you playing more in, in terms of depth of this football team right now? Yeah, cer certainly more than we were uh, probably week one. Every week you find more out about your identity uh, as far as you know, the individuals on your football team and their ability to handle and, and play during the course of play. <clears throat> They're also going to grow through that process too, and, and we've seen a lot of guys do that. Wes? Josh, how's a tie on doing? You think he'll be able to play on Saturday, or is that still up in the air? Yeah, no. We uh, uh, early in the week uh, didn't know uh, what his availability would be as the week's gone on. He's been able to get more work. Uh, ultimately, you know, we make those decisions on Friday. Thanks. Two things. Everybody talks about Matt Corral in terms of running the football and, and the dual threat he brings, but <coughs> they're really good at running the football. What do you see from their running back specifically? Yeah, um, they do a great job of understanding what the schemes are. They press the line of scrimmage. They have the ability to make you miss. They get pad under pad. Um, they're well coached. Um, they do a good job. But it, the quarterback makes the numbers right uh, for them a lot of the time, playing 11 on 11. <clears throat> and offensive line, you know, is, uh, does a really nice job. You always talk about special teams, the importance of that, what do you see from Ole Miss and special teams? Yeah, for us, um, you know, I, I think it's absolutely critical that, that we win that phase of the game. And um, there's been times that we've done a really good job uh, and on all four major teams. Uh, at times, we haven't been as productive uh, as we need to be. Uh, our cover units got to do a great job. They got to win at the line of scrimmage. They got to get off. Um, you know, our punt team in particular, but our kickoff our kick cover unit too. And, and uh, to me, that's where it starts for us special teams wise. <clears throat> What's been the response from your special teams units? I know you work it every single day in practice, giving up some plays here in recent week. What's been the response like? Yeah, we've been really good too, you know, um, with our, our cover units. Um, you know, our, our punt team's been, uh, been really pretty sound uh, all we all year long um, kickoff cover uh, we've given up a couple of returns um, one that obviously went to went the distance other than that they've been really solid <clears throat> as guys have gotten hurt you see new faces on there it's it's a phase of the game where the new faces got to show up and, and be highly productive um, getting some of the guys back here from recent weeks will help us uh, on those teams for sure uh, but the added experience uh, I think we got a chance to go out and play really well on Saturday night Josh, I'm curious your thoughts on a, a turnover-prone quarterback historically. It, it, how hard is it to maybe rewire uh, a guy's DNA, that, so to speak, uh, that, that has historically turned the ball over at a, at a high clip? Is, is that difficult to, to rewire them? Turnovers happen because your eyes aren't in the right place. Um, your ball security mechanics aren't right. Your decision making is not right. Uh, fundamentally, uh, it can be a, a big, big issue just as far as being accurate with the football. And I'm talking about when you're throwing it, <clears throat> you can continue to grow and evolve and change the player with all those things. It's not about you know the the effect of it. You know what I mean? Like the, the actual turnover. You got to rewind it and look at what the cause of, of all those things are, and then you have a chance to correct them. 
Josh, another game where you guys faced a quarterback who can kind of buy time and, and make some plays outside the pocket against Pittsburgh earlier this year. Obviously, they made some plays in that game. Any, any certain area where your defense has taken some steps since then or maybe gained some confidence that you feel maybe better going into a similar situation this week? Yeah, it, to me, it just starts with uh, understanding uh, of our schemes, right? And, and that's, you know, base fronts, uh, four-man uh, fronts, and, and three-man fronts, understanding uh, your rush integrity. But then you add in the pressures and just the growth of, of our understanding of what we're doing is, is the first place that it starts at, at being better at that. That will be a big part of the game, though, on Saturday. Anything else, Coach? Finish with Jay. Yeah. Coach, what have you seen from just Byron Young and, and how he's progressed in the last couple of weeks and really started to hit his stride a little more, I think? Yeah, you know, tough for him just not being able to play early in, in the football uh, season. Uh, and uh, just, you know, as he's gotten back, gotten his feet underground, the playing experience, you see that showing up uh, every single week for him where he's making gains just in how he's playing, the technique that he's playing with, always plays with great effort. Uh, that showed up a bunch last week. Thank you.